The lionfish, genus Tyroas, is native to the Indo-Pacific, but two species were introduced to the Atlantic by owners of exotic pets. While usually about the size of an adult hand, they can grow to a length of 18 inches. They are impressive, both to look at and in the size of their impact. This map shows their spread across the Western Atlantic and Caribbean. Their population explosion has been quick because they are voracious predators. They can reproduce every month, and they have no natural predators in this part of the ocean. With the Curasub, we are exploring Caribbean deep reefs down to about 300 meters, or 1,000 feet. Here, we are finding many species of fishes and invertebrates not previously known. But we are also finding lionfish, down to a surprising depth of 500 feet. In the Indo-Pacific, they are restricted to shallower depths. Our team is trying to find out how these invasive fish might be impacting this deeper ecosystem. We are also concerned that lionfish may be preying on species we have not yet studied or even described. We use the Curasub to collect lionfish, then bring them to the lab to study their gut contents. These partially digested meals can be difficult to identify by sight, so we take small pieces of tissue to analyze back in our labs in Washington, D.C. at the National Museum of Natural History. At the museum, we extract and analyze short regions of DNA, known as DNA barcodes, and match them to a database of known species. These are some of the species found so far in the guts of lionfish. Using the Curasub, we are continuing to search for species new to science and explore the impact of lionfish on deep reef ecosystems.